Hey, what is up everybody? This is No One Shall Come At You with yet another Star Trek Fleet Command video. Today, we're going to go over the G5 ships. So, we're going to do a series of Federation, Romulan, and Klingon. We're going to go each step by step over it and show you guys it so you guys can see what these ships are because for a lot of us, we're from 30s to 50, 40s, 40s and sometimes some of us won't even be able to get to see the ships for a year few months i don't know for extended period of time so i'm going to show you the ships in the ship uh, the hangar and i'm going to go over you with them in the stfc.space that is the website that ripper makes it is very handy so if you guys don't know stfc.space there's no com no anything else just dot space and you can check out the website because it's awesome it's probably one of the best resources is for the game so before we get into the video don't forget to like that subscribe that bell notification down below remember below that in the see more come join my discord under that are three donation links to paypal cash up and venmo remember this is my main source of income and it is my birthday month if you guys want to help out mary don't forget to follow that twitch because i do random streams there soon enough i'm probably to start doing diablo immortal videos and streams there too because that is coming out tomorrow i'm quite excited i'm an old school diablo fan um and don't forget to check out my links we have etsy's we have twitch tiktok yada 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 go check out my link my campsite the website it's like a link tree but a campsite but let's get into the video let's actually take it start taking a look at the federation g5 ships so we're like the federation g5 we're like the miners the uncommons blah 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 we showed you some of them before some of us have seen us blowing up on them before many times i've had a first hand scenario uh, cases of that and it's not been fun but i digress so we're gonna start with the g5s it is a far one so we can skip the Nova. That is the base miner for all of them. So that's the base miner. But we can start with the North Cut. Probably the, one of the sexier ones out there. And let's go take a quick look at it. It is an Ops 53 ship. So it's going to be 53 to get it. So let's go take a look at the ship. It looks like an arrow. Almost looks like a version of Voyager. It, it's all it is. It's an Interceptor, which is an awesome ship. And it starts at 25 mil for me, but once you hit 53, it's gonna be a different number out the gate. Could be 30 million, could be 40 million off the gate. It is a monster of a ship. So it starts, attack starts at 6 million, defense is 4 million, health is 16 million. Details, I really don't like going over them, but it's base warp range is 290. Um, so the US Federation is exciting new addition to the Federation fleet. This ship features more an aerodynamic design than other Federation ships, thanks to primarily to its pointed saucer flare nacelles its innovation innovative design involve uh the transference of kinetic energy deflected by shielding into its own ship's weapon systems this ship truly gives what it gets so its ability is two percent weapon damage per hit so it's a cumulative thing so every time the ship gets hit the damage goes up it's basically decius a version of decius kind of like the enterprise is a version of spock so let's pull up the stfc.space website so boom, stfc.space. Let's go take a look at the north cut here. If we get want some more information. So north cut, that's all we gotta enter in there. Uh, all, 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 come on. There we go. There is the north cut. Boom. We have it loaded up. So we have the information here. So it each time it gets hit, 2% damage. So it's a Decius. And as you see here, first tier level th one through five so tier one two percent you get to tier two uh three three percent it goes up as time goes on all the way up to ten percent if you can get to tier 60 if you can open your wallet that big that is um so total requires 150 blueprints each blueprint costs you 3k federation credits total blueprints is 450k in federation credits so you need 450k in credits to get it so 3,000 per each blueprint so that's our start um it's 150 day build time but you know it's different when you actually do it seconds to build i ain't gonna go over the seconds supposedly takes 361 billion titanium and 8.7 billion billion i do have that but i ain't gonna spend it right now on it because i don't have it yet so our base tier as you see is it says 796 trillion i know a lot of these numbers seem big at the beginning but you gotta take into account all the cost same research so i take these with a grain of salt so if we go range see 28 billion start boom but take that with a grain of salt because everything changes as time progresses. We have our base information, our base hits right here. You can go over that if you want to look at it. It says 265, see mine was 290 due to my warp upgrades. And then you can see the rounds. So in the first round, you have one one shot, or you, this is the first round, two shots of energy weapon, nothing else. Second round is 233, three, boom. And rinse, repeat, goes over that way. 
information there. I always love looking at warp ranges. So its base range is 265, 280 to max out at 500. Jesus. Cargo really doesn't matter. So let's go take a look at our next ship. So why did my thing switch? Boop. Back to the game. And now let's go look at our next one. It's going to be the Crozier. One of my favorite battleships in the game. USS Crozier. It is a beast. It is like a armored attack ship. That's what it looks like. As you see there. Attack ship per se. You have four of those shots down at the bottom. You have four more in the back. So this thing has. Nope. Yep. It has a 360 degree. What, or 180 I want to say. Firing pattern. Look at it. It says four here. Four back there. So it can fire forward and backwards. Oh, you still have two of them to sell up here too. Interesting. This is a heavily armored ship. As you see, its ability is decreases hostile crit damage. So per round. So it just takes it down by meh. That's a whatever one. And it's Ops 56 ship. 44 million to start for me. Probably 60 million to start for others. Its base warp range is 380. And it says USS Crozier is the newest battleship design and constructed in the Utopia Planetaria fleet, fleet yards. This sturdy ship can take quite a beating due to the reinforced dur uh, duranium plating at the fore and the aft of the main saucer and along the nacelles the crozier features combat design better to avoid enemy fire so this is a monster ship this is meant to take a hit this is cool as heck see our base numbers 9 million 6 million 29 million even though once you get to the 56 all these numbers are going to change due to factor research and information. So let's jump right back to stfc.space and go check it out. So here we go again. Let's go back. Let's type Crozier. Oh, not North Crozier. That'd be fancy. Oop. Crozier. So the use is Crozier. Crozier, Crozier, whatever you want to call it. So as you see, same thing. It jumps when you start to get to tier five. And once you get to, I mean, tier five, tier uh, level five and tier 10 or tier three or tier two, 17%. And it goes up and up and up. So the crits get less and less and less to you in the first round. So you can take it because most of these fights at ops 50 plus are three rounders, five rounders. You got to get them done quickly because these hostiles hurt. They hurt. So as you see here, it requires 350 blueprints. Each blueprint is 3K, so it's the same as Northcut, but it requires 1 point a million, five total. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. 200 day build time, uh, 540 bill or billion titanium, 13.1 dill to build it, just the base cost. But remember, cost saving, cost research. We turn that off, so we don't want the range. Turn that off. So titanium, 59 bill. Uh, Dilithium 1.7 bill, repair time two days, but research two days of repair time. And you see all this information here. Firing pattern first round, we have kinetics in the first round, and photons in the first round. Second one is your pulsated laser, phaser, laser. <laughs> and you can see it going over and over, rinse repeating as we go over it. And then let's see what we else have base warp range 355 and goes up to 690. Scopely, 690. Has a fascination of 690, 69 and 420. If anyone's ever noticed. Boom. And the same description I just read. Our next ship is going to be the infamous Enterprise A. I've done a video on the Enterprise A before. And we can go over it one more time. Big shout out to Dave for providing me that. And here's the Enterprise A. Nope, that is a Crozier again. I must love it. Enterprise A. We'll op 60. All right, Enterprise D. Enterprise D. Op 60. Um, the base information is as long as the ship has morale, the US Enterprise increases the weapon damage by 85%, kind of like the Enterprise A, to be honest. And as you see here, it starts at 87 million, but we all know it's probably like 150 million starting. Um, it's attacks 18 million, 17 million, 53 million for health. And we have our base information here. Its base warp is uh, 610. And if you look at the Enterprise D, the USS Enterprise D is a galaxy class Federation starship constructed in the 24th century. Enterprise D features 10 phaser banks, 250 photon torpedoes, high yield capacity shield grid, 
uh, under the command of the famous Jean-Luc Picard, the Enterprise D served the flagship Starfleet Armada. The Enterprise D is the only technological superior, but the larger than the Constellation class, which preceded the Enterprise D, perhaps one of the most iconic ships in the galaxy, not only because of her shielding and weaponries, but because of her heroic crew. I love those ones. I love those read-ups. And let's go take a look at the Enterprise D in the game. As you see here, the cells, just our basic Enterprise, our love for the Enterprise, even though the Crozier looks so much meaner to the Enterprise, this is just a big behemoth in space. I had one of these as a toy as a kid. I was a big Star Trek nerd, still am. But let's go take a look at it on stfc.space. I wonder how many times I've said stfc.space, Enterprise D. Rich repeating that over. Enterprise D, let's go take a look, bam. Here's Enterprise D. And as you see, tier two is 89% on the ability and it jumps all the way up to 200% if you can get it up to tier 12. That's a lot. So it says it requires 650 blueprints. As you see, the cost is the same per blueprint, it's 3,000. And it requires almost 2 million blueprints to unlock the ship. And it's a 250 day build time, uh, 2.46 trillion titanium. 59 billion dill g5 refines finally seen that off the bat right away and let's go look at the base so it's 155 billion repair cost for trit 3 billion for dill and it's a four day 21 hour repair time yikes yikes let's see the firing pattern first round you have six phasers in the first round your second round is six phasers two torpedoes six two as you see it's Quite interesting, the pattern. I don't know why I would list for scrapping, but okay. So there's no refits yet. We can look at the warp. It starts at 585, ends at 1025 warp. I see Scopely, again, with your numbers, you nerdy jokes, and cargo, which really doesn't matter. And we want our the ship description. So that is the Federation Starships if, to look at. And we looked at the miner in the previous video, but we can look at it one more time if you guys do say so or like or whatever the us is a bd bd it's a 58 ship minor starts at 420 again scopely 420 increases the mining rate of gas so that's cool and it's a minor we've went over this before i've read it out before base warp 450 and it is a y class uh y class uh freighter whatever you want to call it but that's the ship right there all right guys it is no one shall sign out. Don't forget to like and subscribe that bell notification down below. Remember below that in the comments or in the see more description in the description. Come join the Discord. There are three donation links down below. PayPal, Cash App, and a Venmo. And remember below that is my link tree. It gives you all the links to all my social media, my Etsy, everything you can think of. Go check that out. Remember, this is my birthday month. If you guys do want to help, you can donate or you can submit on Amazon, or you can become a member either two, five, 10 or 20 bucks a month. And don't forget to check out the thank you button down there if you want to donate another way. All right, guys, it is no one shall sign out. Peace out. Have a wonderful day. Love y'all.